next leg of your flight is April 1st, Tripoli to Cairo. It's 1,090 miles, and you decided to fly direct over the Gulf instead of flying the coastline as many pilots recommended. Mm -hmm. Oh, I've been done the ocean, not in the world. If you could do the ocean, why not get over the little Gulf? I mean, sort of silly. What happened when you landed in Cairo? Oh, well, I was met by a few soldiers with guns. And, um, well, they, they had their guns, they pointed their guns at me, and, um, and shut off your engine and well I'm trying to point up to the control tower and talk on the micro time you know, microphoning and everything and they well there were they were they were much of them and they were closer so I shut it off. And I opened the door and say, Oh, where am I? You're not in Cairo, but where am I? Come on with us. So they turned the plane around and pushed it. Oh, they made me shut off the engine of course. Then they pushed the airplane down to the far end of the runway. I found out later that was because the place near where I landed was where the uh, Russians were meeting. The Russians were in control of that part. It was the whole airport, actually. And uh, they, uh, I discovered much of this about ten years later. Oh, yeah, 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 I told you about that. Um, uh, what was his name now? And, oh, well, I'll think of his name pretty soon. Anyway, a, a nice gentleman, a nice Egyptian gentleman, who was at that point head of the um, airline traffic control of, of uh, Egypt, a dinner guest in my home in Ohio later. And he told me, and I didn't know about that until after the book was written, but um, well, I landed and I was taken into this um, military place and um, they, the telephone was ringing. So the officer in charge, he kept talking on the phone and telling me do this and do that. Well, and I did not know it till later but this other man was on the phone in Cairo International. He was a set of, head of civil air, civil air not even. And uh, so I had to tell him um, what to do, what I had to do, and they had to get me turned around and kept on the ground so after dark so that I wouldn't see what was going on at that airport, which was military and had all these secret things going on behind the scenes. So they had to feed me tea and entertain me show me television and all that sort of thing until it got dark. And then I was told to take off down the runway. Now it's the wrong runway, but you use it anyway. You get up in the air, you turn, and you will see the lights of Cairo. That's Cairo land. And it wasn't until later that I found out why I had to do it that way. That gentleman was guest in my home in Ohio, and his son was going to Ohio State University. The son had been at this base in the meantime. A strange, strange how things happened. Mm -hmm. <laughs> These people come together, and, and uh, otherwise I never would have known what went on. Mm -hmm. But it did not make the book say they, they entertained me. They took me to the King Swimming Pool, and uh, that I knew, but I didn't know why. Well, I think the book does say that the tower asked you where you were, and you said, I'm on the ground. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cause and they, I, well, I, was, you, I was told it was King's Place. Yeah. But I didn't know that the soldiers were there, that, right. that's why I had to stay. But until after dark, when I couldn't see what right. was going on, right. they had to keep me there in the dark yeah. and couldn't let me go until later. But when you were first flying in and you thought you were flying to Cairo and you went ahead and were reporting your positions... I'm on flying low, I'm, I'm landing, I'm, here I am on the ground. They asked, where were you? And you were on the ground. On the ground. That's when you realized you were at the wrong airport? Yeah, and I started to turn off and I was heading for their where they were, and I get turned around and head to the uh, other end where the Russians were not, where the Cairoians were. <laughs>